Today, we're going to review a few tips in using the V scope to intubate. So, with the V scope, we traditionally come in midline, tongue, epiglottis, notch, and I'm able to visualize those vocal cords in seconds. This is a difficult airway mannequin from True Corp. Put a C collar on them. We super inflated the tongue to uh, simulate angioedema. We're trying to make this mannequin as difficult as possible. So, with a traditional blade, I'm going to come in, I'm getting maybe a grade three view. Our goal with the V-scope is to give everyone a grade one view the first time. Tongue, epiglottis, notch, place that bougie straight through the vocal cords. Now I'm going to select the proper tube size for my patient, play my cuff. and ventilate the patient. So a couple variations with that, with the V-scope. Um, we are able to gently rock on the teeth, but if there's any kind of dental issue, any kind of facial trauma, um, we can always use the paraglossal technique where we go to the corner of the mouth and visualize those vocal cords in seconds. You can do either corner of the mouth and visualizing those vocal cords passing the bougie in seconds. The next thing, uh, since we're all operating in a uh, COVID-19 environment, uh, I'm just wearing basic PPE. I'd be all PP'd up uh, if this was a suspected uh, COVID patient. Uh, but with the V-scope, you're staying a very safe distance away from that patient's airway, and you're able to complete the intubation quickly. So tongue, epiglottis, and notch. I'm 14, 18 inches away. I pass that bougie. Select the proper tube size, proper depth based on your local protocols. Inflate the cuff and ventilate my patient. So one more time uh, with the V-scope, we can use a right-handed or left-handed. Um, I'm going to do it uh, with my right hand, pass the bougie with my left hand. A little bit different for me, but uh, for the 10% of left-handers, they're going to love that. So. Tongue, epiglottis notch, vocal cords, tube, wipe my cuff. Then I like the patient. Check for bilateral breaths out, check the capnography. So, reviewing those tips, keep the questions coming, and let me know where we can help. Thanks.